Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 6th through the 12th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Aries. Oof. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Hierophant. This could be talking about one of those deep, deep, deep connections. It could also be talking about your belief system, something happening there. Um, let's see, in the recent past, the Death card, the Queen of Cups, the Hangman. All right. You know that feeling when something happens and you feel paralyzed, basically you feel numb? Uh, I kind of get this over here for you. There's definitely a whole lot of love involved. There is a sense of death there. There is a sense of an ending possibly to something, but it kind of brought you into that standing still position where I feel like you just felt like you can't move you can't function you can't anything you know so i don't know what the hell happened here but in the current situation the fool the seven of pentacles the ace of cups you're ready to well you're open enough to take a chance on love here to work on it to you know to put yourself out there um it's like a fresh brand new energy you're coming out of that cocoon of numbness basically and you're kind of like okay that's it let's get let's get moving let's get rolling here and it's in the direction of love so in the immediate future the knight of cups the king of swords the nine of pentacles you're definitely growing in confidence especially there's a sense of um you keeping yourself open and going out there from that energy from that openness and then just kind of growing in confidence a lot by the looks of it so good let's see what's going on let's clarify felix 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 melix delix not responding to my word puzzle game thing let's see the hierophant The Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Sun. Man, there's a whole lot of healing here, you know, and it's interesting because it's a very powerful contrast here from the past energy where it's like, oop, and then just growth, just like that, um, which I feel like it came from there. So there's definitely a sense of stepping into your power, feeling more confident, even feeling happiness, you know, through all of this. So there, there's a deeper connection to self almost that's happening here. Interesting. Let's see the death card in the recent past. Ooh. And you got four, we'll keep them all. For the death card, you get the eight of cups, the page of wands, the eight of wands, the 10 of pentacles. Yeah. I mean, the desire to keep things going, to basically put your energy out there, is definitely present or was present for quite a while where you were given and given and given until you were like, I'm done. I'm done giving. Uh, now, I don't know what the hell happened that caused you to feel this way about it because there is an ending here. Uh, it seems sudden though. It seems sudden. This whole, you know, I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm giving and then cut nothing, nothing else. Let's do the Queen of Cups in the recent past. Queen of Wands, the Justice card, the King of Cups. There was a whole, blah, 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 a lot of love here. A whole lot of love here. A whole lot of passion. A whole lot of things going on, going quite good here by the looks of it. Uh, balancing out of energies, equal give and take. Kind of an energy at play. 
Lots of love. I still, I, huh, why can't I talk again? I think it's you. Why, why wouldn't I blame you? Um, uh, I don't know, I don't think that the love stopped even after the ending of something there. Um, let's do the hangman in the recent past. Whee. The lovers, the devil, the five of cups. Okay, so very powerful connection here. And I feel like through this numbness of yours, it's like, think of it, because I feel like in the beginning it did feel like, oh my God, I can't feel anything. I can't think anything. I'm nothing, basically, you know, kind of feeling that way. But then it turned into, it transitioned into a whole lot of healing for you, this whole situation. There's a whole lot that this connection brought up for you to heal. And I feel like you did. Not all of it, but a whole lot of it by the looks of it. So your period of time of standing still, it wasn't for nothing. It's kind of translated into healing there. Powerful healing. Really cool. As to the full in the current situation. Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. You might be in a little bit of a pickle here by the looks of it. Because I feel like you're willing to um, go and start something or create something here. And there could be the possibility of a partnership, maybe, uh, attached to this. But I see you a little bit in... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should take it. And eventually kind of leaning towards the energy of, no, nah, I'm not going to bother. Mm -mm. No, I can do this on my own kind of a thing, you know? What are you doing? Do not jump on Oscar. There's plenty of ways to jump off the bench, not on Oscar. Okay, see? Above, yeah. Uh, so I don't know, I don't know what to say. I see your eagerness towards creating something here, but at the same time, tied up to somebody else, not so much. I don't see the energy available for that on your side. Let's do the Seven of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands, the Temperance card, the Hangman. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> it kind of looks like this, whatever it is you're creating. And it, 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 I kind of see it tied up to the material world. So it could be your job or a new step towards something else, a career rise, or I don't know. Um, but I see a little bit of stepping back from it. Maybe because you think you're not ready. Maybe because you think you need to work a little bit more on self, on whatever. There's that sense of pausing before you go, you know? Um, I'm half-half about it, where half of me is feeling right about it. The other half is like, I don't know. I don't know if you're not ready, because the energy is here for it. It wouldn't be here if you wouldn't be ready. So, I don't know. This one, you're going to have to go with your gut. Let's do the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Okay, that's, that, that's why I was half and half. Because I couldn't see the fear, but now I'm seeing it. Um, now I'm not half and half anymore. I changed my mind. Ace of Cups, you get the Death card, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, your own fear of failure. So it's not, oh, you know, I'm going to prepare a little more and then I'll be ready. It's, I don't know if I'm ready because, you know, I'll use this excuse that I need to learn more for it. But underneath all that, I'm actually scared. Because um, there is here a fear that's preventing you to create something brand new for yourself. And it, it the way I see it, it's tied up to the material for you. You know, so it's preventing you from bringing in new energies into this game of yours called life. Which the energies are available by the looks of it. And so is the fear, which is standing in the way. understand what's happening with 
Oscar and probably Kai. Uh, for the Knight of Cups in the immediate future, you get the Fool, the Six of Swords, the Two of Swords. You're, you keep on cutting yourself off. So you're the one that has that energy of, you know what, I'll just go do it. I don't care. I don't care if I'm scared of it. I don't care if I fail. I don't care about anything. I'm just going to go do it. And then last minute, you take that step back to think about it for a split second. And then that split second turns into a whole lot of thinking and overthinking. And then you're kind of preventing yourself from moving forward. Um, hmm. There is progress in this though. There is that whole sense of I'm going to do it despite my fear kind of a thing. So I do see the progress here. And then you pulling yourself back. But if there's progress, that means you're becoming aware of your fear. And that means you're taking your fear and you're like, okay, let's go. Let's go for a ride. And the fear goes, but then it kind of wants to pull you back. And you listen to it at times, not all the time. And here you look like um, you're listening to it. Coming up with excuses of why you can't jump into new things. Over here, there's progress. Well, let's do the King of Swords in the immediate future. Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, the Two of Cups. I, I am having a hard time uh, wrapping my head around this one. It's hard from from where I see it here. It's hard to get to the Two of Cups through these energies, through the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles and the Tower in the way. It's kind of hard to um, get there. Maybe that's why the Tower is there. There's that whole sense of confidence and belief in self, self-love, self-care, like I'm doing it, I'm putting myself first. And then from that place, it's like, oh, I know I'm going to get this one, you know, kind of like, uh, I'll make this happen just because I have that going on for me. I don't see it happening with the tower here, but I see you believing hap it's happening where you and another person are coming together in love. Where is this coming from? I'm trying to put it together with something in the reading, but I can't. It's a little bit of growth in confidence. At the same time, it leans towards cockiness by the looks of it. Um, which I don't know if ultimately it will bring you love. I mean, it could bring it to you for five minutes. And then kind of like, what? Wait, what? Why isn't this working? Why is it? Because it's not, it doesn't have a base. It doesn't have something to support this energy through. It's got it to support it for five minutes, not for the long term, not for what you are seeking. I don't know. And I don't even know if this is you, by the way. It kind of looks like it's you, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was somebody else close to you. Um, there's that sense of bravado, that sense of... I, I can definitely get it done, you know, which I don't believe. That's the thing. That's, that's why I'm stuck on this energy. I'm like, I, I, you're giving me no cards or no energy in here where I shouldn't believe you. But for some reason, I don't believe this energy because it's, it's one step up. It's confidence. And then there's that one step up of pff, who me, you know, kind of a thing. So I don't know. I hope you get this Two of Cups. I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's do the Nine of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Three of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Magician. And then you get upset and then you move on because it's like, oh, it's not coming. Um, watch out for this distorted sense of confidence. It's here. I don't know what the hell it's doing here. 
I see you healing. I trust your healing because I see it here and it's very deep and very intense and very big. That's why I'm kind of surprised that this is here. Um, it could be one of those things where you know you've healed, you know you've worked on yourself a lot and you did gain that big ass sense of confidence. And then it kind of catches you and it kind of sends you over the edge there where that edge is... I can't even call it cockiness. I don't even know what the hell to call it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I don't have a specific word for it. But something about it is distorted. Okay, let's call it a distorted sense of confidence. Um, and I feel like you, you are aware of this part of self too, where you kind of cross that line. Um, that's what it's thrown up here. The available energy for that. Now, now that you know the energy, you can definitely, especially if you know about it, you can definitely keep an eye on it and prevent it from, you know, kind of interfering here. What is this? That's interesting. We're going to have an interesting extended to this. Let's um, see what the universe has for you. The Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Judgment card. Try to remain humble as much as you can. I think that was the word. The opposite of humble. What's the opposite of humble? Because you didn't, I, I don't even know. Um, try to remain humble. There's a whole lot of changes, a whole lot of depth you're reaching. And it's cool and all. And I mean, it's not cool, it's painful, but it's cool at the same time. And um, there's a, the universe is kind of giving me a sense of it's kind of tough for me to stay humble and to stay appreciative and to stay, you know, to, to keep on keeping on basically because I kind of mastered things here so I'm just gonna you know kind of go uh, over the edge there and uh, step into my uh, sense of independence and knowledge and I know it all kind of a thing which it's not exactly like that I, I tend to overdo it so that you get the sense of the energy um, but there is a little bit of danger of that all right, so keep an eye out for that energy. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.